So yeah. where do we leave off? Okay, Spider Man Two. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. Are you even hearing the rumors about uh, Sam Raimi? No. Okay, way, so there are a rumor about Spider Man Four happening. Okay, there are three rumors about Sam Raimi right now, which is so good. I'm so happy to hear about Sam Raimi working at all ever. Period. But mm. the three big rumors are either A, he's going to direct Avengers Secret Wars. That was flowing around first. That was happening first. Uh, then there were rumblings about doing the Toby Spider-Man 4 that were coming along. And they were like, oh, maybe. And someone asked him about it. He was like, I don't know. I'd like to. That's all he can say. That's all he ever says. Is, I don't know. I'd like to. But the thing that interested me the most was the recent rumor is they might be trying to get him to direct Tom Holland's Spider-Man 4. And that right. that excites me a little bit more. And what I like about this idea is because at the end of No Way Home, it was such a it made me so it made me annoyed, but I was also like, well now the next one better be effing good. Is like you see him in his effing small apartment that sucks. He, he sewed up his costume, all this jazz. And it look and this apartment even looks kind of very similar to the Spider Man 2 apartment in a way. But maybe that's just a New York apartment, so I don't really know. It does. Uh, it very it really does look like that apartment, yeah. I know yeah. it's not the same, but it's pretty close. It is close. Uh, and it's I like... do like that they're finally they're w when they introduced you know Tom Holland Spider Man as like a ward of Tony Stark almost. I was like, oh, well, this isn't going to be like any Spider Man I've known at all. He's not going to have any like financial struggle whatsoever. Um, and he's going to like, and then like in every movie, his suit was just made like Stark technology. So I was like, okay, well, it's, I mean, it's cool. He can do all these cool things, but like no other Spider-Man is just like this lucky. And then mm -hmm. they kind of fixed all that uh, with the last one. And at the end, you know, now he's, now he's poor. He made his suit with his bare hands. It's not going to have any like advanced features. So yeah, I'm excited to see where they go with it. I think, Man. I think Spider-Man will be more relatable now. And that's like the thing that's always been really cool about Spider-Man is how like relatable he is about like, you know, the struggle of just, being a person and juggling, you know, work-life balance almost. Um, and, and, and Tom Holland just has never had that, but I, I think now he will. So that'll be good. I hope so. I hope so. And Sam Raimi, if they got him to do it, because then it'll be almost like, like, I'm imagining in a fictional world where there was another Spider-Man 4 immediately after. I'm not talking about this effing BS of, oh, well, now it's 10 years later. Now, you know, all this. If it was immediately after, you could have had a movie where uh, Toby or Toby's Peter and MJ broke up, because like at the end of Spider-Man Three, it's kind of you know it's implied that they're at least taking a break because they just went through a lot, and then they're just dancing solemnly to like you know the sad jazz and then fade to black. Uh, it's like oh my goodness, very somber, and. Uh, I, I well, I was gonna say, don't they mention in in No Way Home though that they like are together? Well, yeah, in No Way Home. But I'm saying yeah. I'm talking about let's take it back. Like I just got out of the theater of 2007. Uh, oh, you want so you want them to de-age Tobey Maguire? Yeah, no, I, no, I, I, uh, no, no. I'm not saying that. I'm saying if you take if you look at through this like, like back then he they were going to have like uh, Anne Hathaway was going to be Black Cat. But then she ended up becoming yeah. Catwoman for uh, Batman. <laughs> yeah, Batman. Yeah. Uh, they could. It's t it'll be like Sam Raimi basically being dropped into where he left off, but with Tom Holland Spider Man. It could be well, Tom Holland Spider Man. He's broken up with MJ, and now Black Cat might come into the mix, and whatever sinking hero or, or villain he's going to fight, whatever, etc. Uh, it could be like Sam Raimi metaphorically picking up where he left off instead of having to pick up now. You know what I mean? But with yep, Tom Holland instead of Toby. Yep, I know exactly what you mean. I, I can see that. I think Sam Raimi would do a great job. I wish he would make more movies, honestly. Um, yes. I think the Multiverse of Madness was amazing. I know that... I hate that people hate on... People hate on that movie. The people hate I, on that movie. I cannot understand it. I think it was so... Okay, like, everybody complains that Mar Marvel's very cookie-cutter right now, and I agree mm -hmm. with a lot of that, but Multiverse of Madness was not cookie-cutter. It was not! It was very yeah. much its own thing. I could I could have not watched any Marvel movie 
gone into the theater, watched Doctor Strange as like a standalone, the Multiverse Madness as a standalone. And just it would have been an awesome Sam Raimi superhero. Seriously. Wild. It was great. I think it was wonderful. And I love I love the Sam Raimi like zooms where he does mm-hmm. he always does a movie where it's like it's like a like a zoom in and then boom and then another zoom in and then boom. It's like back I love that. And he, I, did that he loves this- to play with sound and uh this is one part this is one part where I was like not only is this a Sam Raimi movie, it, 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 it's just like, oh, Sam Raimi, what Sam Raimi does the best, it, he plays things out, like, very genuine. He's a very genuine person. He's very, like, besides maybe some of the Marvel equips they might throw out peppered in here and there in Multiverse of Madness, everything else is very, like, just the most of what it could be. So when there's a moment in Multiverse of Madness, when they're one, basically running away from Wanda, and you just see... A stinking middle-aged wizard man with this little Mexican girl running through the hallway in the sewer away from a monster lady. I'm like, wow! Like it just yeah. it, that just the most fool it could be of itself of just this is a stinking mm-hmm. magic monster movie and this is a stinking ah, it's and it's a wizard. Yeah. It's like yeah. crazy. I'm mean, really the only like superhero horror movie I could think of is Brightburn. I think. You know, and I like Multiverse Madness more than Brightburn. It's because it was, it's not only a superhero movie, but it's a Sam Raimi mm-hmm. superhero horror movie. And, uh, Wait, uh horror, but yeah, Brightburn was cool, but the, but the best you get is okay, Superman kills the world. The end. Uh, and Doctor mm-hmm. Strange, he almost gets taken over by the souls of the damned, and then he turns them into a cloak, and he even flies his undead body yeah. over to fight him. Evil witch. That was pretty. That was pretty badass. God dang it! I, uh, <laughs> I, I hate. And you know what sucks? Like people act like multiverse of man. Like it was a spit in their face. Like how dare you give me this? How dare you? Because they wanted Cameo City. That's all they wanted. They wanted thinking. They wanted what Deadpool three is probably going to be. They wanted multiverse of madness to be. 